Hello everybody, Mrs. Brown's coming to you from the math side of things. Boys and girls, we've been talking about ways to make what? Five. So show me five. Five alive. If one is sleep, how many are awake? Four. Four and one, one and four. If two are asleep, how many are awake? Three. Three and two, two and three. And then all of them are up. How many sleep? Zero. Five and zero, zero and five are the ways that we make five. All right, let's count by tens. Raise the roof. Ready? Let's go. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. And don't forget to blast off. Are you ready? Let's do it. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Blast off. You did it. Excellent job. All right, boys and girls, today we are going to talk about a tens frame. This is a tens frame. A tens frame has 10 squares, 10 blocks. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And those of you who are working at home, if you turn your magical whiteboards over, you will see a ten frame. Okay, so what your job will be today is to look at these numbers on these pumpkins as we've been talking about pumpkins all week. The title says pumpkin 10 frames. So now we're not going to color all 10 frames every time we color. Okay, let's look at this number here. You have four. This number is seven. What's this number? Three, the number six, the number nine, and the number five. Boys and girls, whatever that number is on that pumpkin, that's how many squares you color on the tens frame. So, for example, we have four. So, how many do you think we should color? You're exactly right. We should color four. One, two, three, four. And right here, let's do one more seven. Let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Look at your numbers. Think about what you're doing and where they belong on the tens frame. Count first with your magical pointer finger and then color it in. Let me show you what quality work looks like. There it is. And then I want you to color your pumpkins as well. So right here, the number was three. And I colored how many squares in on my tens frame? One, two, three. All right, now let's move right along because you're also going to be working on putting pumpkins together this week. Some of you are going to travel with the letters in the alphabet going from A to Z. So let's take a look at this one. Okay, you're going to start at the letter A, and let's find the letter A. It's right there. Remember, we go to the dot and not the letter, but you need to say those letters. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. When you do that, you're going to have a nice, beautiful picture of a pumpkin that looks like this. And remember, your stem and your leaf, they need to be colored with quality also. All right, the other half of you have numbers from 1 to 18. Let's take a look at that. It's important that we explore our letters and our numbers every day. So yours look like this, and you're going to start with the number 1. So let's find the number one. Here it is. And let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Fantastic job. Now, yours is going to look like this. You're going to start from here, but you're going to finish with this product right here. Okay, remember there's a stem on that pumpkin, and that pumpkin is orange. Remember the parts of a pumpkin. You have the pulp, which is the inside of the pumpkin, and those seeds. You have a stem and a leaf. And where do pumpkins grow? They grow on what? They grow on vines. Great job, everybody. Take your time and do your very best work, and I'll be talking to you soon.